Hey friends, here we are given these limits x tends to infinity in both these cases and we have square root of x square plus 3x which is kind of square root of some quadratic equation minus square root of another quadratic equations equation right in both the cases. Now x square plus 3x obviously when x is tend to infinity this also will become bigger and bigger right and here also it becomes bigger and bigger both are quadratic equations they are facing upwards because coefficient of x square is 1 right and uh, both have roots of uh, 0 right because if you substitute 0 both are zeros x square minus 2x and uh, x square plus 3 is both are zeros at least uh, one root is 0 here another is minus 3 one root is 0 here another root is 2 okay roughly the graphs will look like this both zeros roots one minus 3 root and another plus 2 root okay now if you see these graphs they are almost very similar very close and uh, as x increases these graphs will keep getting closer and closer, right? And obviously, the difference of this should be a very small number. If this was facing upwards and this was facing upwards, then difference would have widened. But in this case, both are going up or uh, both are trending in the same direction, right? Obviously, at infinity, it looking, looking like the distance is reducing between them this distance whatever uh, this is this then this point is this x is here this x is here whatever the distance is actually reducing now how do we calculate limit in such cases this graph will also more or less will look similar okay we will rationalize this uh, this expression now okay let us see what do we do we will take this x square plus 3x minus under root x square minus 2x and we will rationalize this what does that mean we will multiply this instead of minus, we will take this plus under root x square plus 3x plus under root x square minus 2x. We will multiply with in both numerator and denominator. So then what we will get a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square that is x square plus 3x minus x square minus 2x. This and this will get cancelled. Then 3 plus 2 will get 5x. Right. And in denominator we have x square plus 3x plus x square minus 2x. Then what we do, we'll take the highest power in the denominator, that is the root of x square, which is equal to x, and we'll divide both numerator and denominator with x. Okay, in numerator we'll be left with 5. In the denominator, we'll take this x square inside. Uh, if we are dividing with x, that means uh, if we take it inside, it will become x square. Right. What essentially what does that mean? So for example, under root x square plus 3x by x. As long as x is greater than 0, what does that mean? This means x square plus 3x by x square. Okay, please note x is greater than 0 in this case. Here x is tending to infinity. Because if x is negative, we cannot say, for example, x is minus 2. Then under root minus 2 whole square is what? it is plus 2 right so we cannot say x is equal to under root x square if x is if x is negative this is not true so then if x is negative x is equal to minus of under root x square okay please notice for example minus 2 is equal to minus of under root x square right because under root x square is actual is under root x square is absolute value of x Okay, so but here we don't need to worry about that. We can directly take this uh, x square inside. So what will be left? We will be left with uh, this by this. This is 1 plus 3 by x. 1 plus 3 by x and 1 minus 2 by x. Then x tends to infinity. This will become 0. This will become 0. 5 by root 1 plus root 1. That is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. 5 by 2. Similarly in this case, x square plus x minus x square minus x. We will take the conjugate. Uh, conjugate of this and divide both numerator and denominator then we will get a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square that is x square plus x minus x square minus x this x square this x square will get cancelled we will have 2x and same we will again divide with uh, with x both numerator and denominator in the denominator will when we take it inside it will become x square so it will become 1 plus 1 by x right under root x square plus x by x means if you take the complete root, it will become x square. This this one will get cancelled, so we'll be left with 1 by x by x square, which is equal to 1 by x. 
that is this one, one plus one by x plus one minus one by x. Again, x tends to infinity, that means one by x tends to zero. So it will be two by one plus one, which is equal to two by two, which is equal to one. Okay. So the point here is we are just rationalizing this, but at the same time, we are understanding that uh, there should be a limit first. Intuitively, we should feel that there is a limit because both are quadratic equations and uh, both are almost similar equations and obviously the distance between them should reduce. Intuitively, we have felt that there should be a limit, that uh, the limit cannot be infinity. Right. And then we rationalized and we actually got some limit. See, the numbers are very small. 5 by 2 and 1. Right. The distance is reducing, reducing, reducing and it is reaching to uh, 5 by 2 and 1. Right, guys. Hope you like this. Thank you.